thing I want to say before we play anything by him is that the first discography of jazz records came out in the late 1930s, and there was a place in the discography that said Frank Melrose and the first recordings he'd made, and then in the notes, in parentheses, it said, this is a pseudonym for Jelly Roll Morton, because <laughs> obviously these records were made by Jelly Roll Morton, but it wasn't true, it was Frank <coughs> Melrose. Uh, so he was very much influenced by Jelly Roll Morton and made people think that's who he was. And uh, his brothers, who were music entrepreneurs and publishers, tried to sell him not exactly as Morton, but as a black performer. <laughs> and that would sell increased records. And the first record he made, he was called Frank Melrose. The second record he made, he was called Kansas City Frank. And it kind of, kind of handle. And the third record he made, he was Broadway Rastus. <laughs> After that, they never did that again. But here's the Jelly Roll stuff.